What's happening guys, it's Shane here and today we are going to be going over the business major degree tier list 2021 version. All right, so this has been a highly requested video. We did this way back, I think it was early 2020, super successful video on the channel. You guys absolutely loved it. However, a lot has happened since then in the world and I've also done a lot more research on these different degrees. And so we are going to be doing an update to that video. I'm gonna be adding some degrees and moving them around. And we're gonna be ranking them from the best which would be S tier to the worst, which would be F tier. All right, so a lot of people, you know, don't respect business degrees and I've broken down on this channel time and time again how business degrees are pretty good. When you look at the statistics, if you look really deeply into it, getting a business degree usually is a good investment. And on top of that, they're not going to be as difficult as getting something like a physics degree or an engineering degree, right? So there are a ton of positives to getting a business degree for the right person. They can be fantastic. And I have a lot of fantastic free Free content on this channel but if you are somebody who wants to take it to the next level if you're somebody who's really trying to get the most out of college with the least amount of time effort and money and you want a system that's just going to show you exactly how to do that in a very short amount of time you can check out my college 101 course down in the description below for a limited time I think it's 25% off right now and other than that go ahead if you haven't done it already gently tap the like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts comments etc that you have on the video figuring out you know which one you think for instance is going to be s tier which one you think is going to be the best but with that being said i'm going to jump right into it and we are going to start right off the bat with the s tier degrees some people are a little too impatient to watch the whole video so we're going to do the s tier degrees right away and i'm also going to be keeping this video super short guys i'm not going to go over the statistics or anything like that if you want to see the numbers you want to dive really deeply into that check out pretty much any other video on my channel i've already done tons of videos on this so right off the bat management information systems this is one that kind of combines you know business degree with technology degree specifically with an emphasis on information systems. And this one, without a doubt, is the best on the entire list. This is the new meta, in my opinion. Everything is moving towards being technology-based. Uh, the technology industry, in my opinion, is probably the best industry to work in. You see uh, jobs, for instance, on sites like indeed.com or glassdoor.com, the ones that have the highest job satisfaction rating usually are in the tech industry. And so people get paid really well in tech. They're very satisfied with their job. There's tons of opportunity. And on top of that, later on, if you want to start a business, that is one of the best industries to start a business in as well. So learning technology skills, especially if you also have a little business in there, can be a fantastic combination this one is without a doubt S tier. Now, these next two are also S tier, but I would say management information systems is the best. And the first one we're gonna talk about is going to be finance. Now, one thing I will say about getting a finance degree is it is a little bit of a high risk, but also high reward type of degree. So what I mean by that is with the other two that are in S tier, you don't really have to do too much research for you to you know, choose the degree. If you're somebody who's not 100% sure what you wanna do, those two would probably be better options. However, I will say that a finance degree probably has the highest upside out of any degree on this list. So in my video that I did on the degrees that create the most millionaires and the degrees that create the most billionaires, as well as careers that create the most millionaires and billionaires, uh, you saw that people who get finance degrees and they work in finance related careers are not only a part of the top 1%, but in many cases, they're a part of the top like 0.01%. So we're talking about like hedge fund managers, for instance. These are the types of people who just make absolutely ridiculous amounts of money. Now, getting into these types of jobs, doing a lot of these finance related jobs is extremely competitive, super competitive. You're probably gonna be working like 80 hours a week. You know, there's all this news coming out about Goldman Sachs and how hard they were working their employees and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys have heard about that. And you know, that's legit, okay? You, uh, if you go into this industry, you need to expect to work ridiculously long hours. But the upside is also very, very high, okay? So very competitive environment. 
um, but for certain types of careers, getting a finance degree can be fantastic. However, I will say if you haven't done your research and you know exactly what you want to get into, the other two degrees in S tier are probably going to be better options just because of the fact that they're more flexible. So with that being said, finance is going into S tier. Next on the list is going to be accounting. And accounting is great because you can get a lot of the same jobs as somebody who goes into finance. However, it's more flexible. So for instance, there's over a million accountants in the United States of America. And that means that if you go into accounting and let's say you want to become like a tax accountant, and then you work a few years and you realize, I do not wanna do this for 40 years, right? You're just dead bored with it. It's very easy for you to switch to a different career. There's lots of different sub careers within accounting and you can even work outside of accounting because it's such a flexible degree. So when it comes to the pure numbers in terms of how much you make, accounting is a little bit below on average uh, finance and MIS, but it's the most flexible as well. So that's the reason that I actually moved accounting up. I think last time it was an A tier and this time it is going to be an S tier. All right, so next on the list is going to be a degree that isn't technically a business degree, but a lot of the time they're going to be competing for the same jobs, so it pretty much is one. And so that's going to be economics. Now economics made it onto the list of the degrees that create the most millionaires. I believe it was in the top five and there is a reason for that. Economics and business degrees in general not only teach you employable skills that are going to directly lead to you making money, aka getting a job, but it also teaches you some intangible skills that later on down the line are going to lead you to success as well. So things like understanding the economy are going to help you to invest. They're going to help you to recognize opportunities. They're gonna help you understand the importance of saving and kind of like running your life almost like a business. And if you ever wanna become an entrepreneur and start your own business, it's going to help you there as well. And that's why you see these business degrees time and time again coming up on the list very high when it comes to the degrees that create the most millionaires. So economics is going to go into A tier. Next on the list is going to be supply chain management. And this is a really good one that in my opinion is very underrated. Now we all saw the rise of Amazon. And one of the biggest reasons why Amazon became so successful is because they are masters of supply chain management. And it's gonna be all about getting something from point A to point B. Point A being you know, the factory where it's produced, Point B being the end product user. And there is a lot that goes into that, creating the product, storing it, shipping it out, getting it there very fast. These are all things that Amazon has mastered. And creating and optimizing these processes is a super valuable job. It might not be you know, something that a lot of people are super passionate about. It's not the sexiest career ever, but it is super, super valuable. This one has fantastic statistics when you look at the numbers. This one is going to go into A tier. Next on the list is going to be international business. And this is one where when you look at the numbers, it doesn't really just pop off the page. It's not fantastic, but I think it has a lot of upside. Whether you like it or not, everything is becoming more and more global, okay? The world is starting to change. Business is becoming more international, and that's only going to get more and more common. It's not going to slow down. And there is a ton of nuance that goes into international business, doing business in and with other countries. And so this is one where the numbers aren't fantastic right now, but I'm pretty bullish on it in the future. I'd say this is kind of like a dark horse candidate. Right now, I'm actually going to put it into B tier and it could rise up into A tier, maybe even S tier in the future. Next one on the list is going to be sales and business marketing, a relatively common degree. That's why it made it on the list. And I think as a skill, sales and marketing are two of the most valuable skills that you could possibly learn. In my opinion, it can be a little bit tough to learn these things in a classroom. I think they're probably better taught in the real world, but there are some things that you can learn in the classroom setting. And so overall, the numbers are okay on this one. It is going to go into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be marketing and this kind of goes along the same lines. It's something where, you know, marketing is, you know, malleable. It changes 
uh, you know, from year to year in different countries, it's going to be different in different industries, selling different types of products. Marketing is going to be different. And this is where the term of, you know, meta comes up, right? The meta right now might be, oh, this type of marketing is working really well, but five years from now, it's not working really well anymore. And you need to find something that works better. And it's really difficult for schools to keep up with this. And so, yes, you can learn some base knowledge that's going to help you in school. But in my opinion, the best way to get knowledge when it comes to business marketing, sales, all that sort of thing is to just go out there and either get a job or start your own business. But with that being said, the numbers here are not too bad for marketing. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be a general business degree. And this is one that I've talked about before. General business degrees are not super valuable just because of the fact that they are way too general, right? So business degrees are already flexible enough in the first place. There's so many different jobs you can get in just about any industry, working for any company with just about any type of uh, business degree. And so there's no need for it to be any more flexible because when it gets even more flexible, then you're not really becoming an expert on a specific subject. You're kind of just a jack of all trades and it's much better for you to learn specialized knowledge. But with that being said, when you look at the numbers, general business degrees are not horrible. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be an entrepreneurship degree. And this is one where you know they try to teach you how to be an entrepreneur in school. I have a huge problem with this one because even more than the sales or the marketing, you cannot learn how to be an entrepreneur in a classroom setting. So classroom settings are gonna teach you the rules and as an entrepreneur, you have to go out there and figure out what the market actually wants, right? Because what they wanted five years ago is not the same as what they want now. What they wanted 10 years ago isn't the same either. You no, know, you wanna figure out what problems the market has and then figure out how you can solve those problems. But with that being said, the numbers on this one are not great, but they're also not absolutely horrible. I think that people who who tend to you know, get entrepreneurship degrees want to become entrepreneurs. And those are the types of people that are more likely to be successful probably because as I've talked about in my other videos, uh, the best way to become a millionaire, statistically speaking, is to start your own business. Or I should say the most high probability way of becoming a millionaire at a young age, statistically speaking, is to start your own business. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into D tier. Next on the list, we're gonna talk about business administration. And this one is very similar to a general business degree, but the numbers are even worse. And so it has a lot of the same problems as a general business degree. You know, it, you know, business degrees are flexible enough as they are. And so there's really no need to just have this kind of like general, like, oh, you kind of know a little bit about everything uh, sort of thing going on. And so for that reason, it's going to go into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be human resource management. And this is one where it's got a huge problem. I made an entire video about this one, but it's got a huge problem where if you want to become a human resource manager, you don't have to have a human resource management degree. There are many people who get into human resource management with psychology degrees, for instance. And so you are competing against other people who have much more flexible degrees. They can do other careers, whereas you're pretty much pigeonholing yourself into one career. And that is a huge problem, right? So if you really know what you want to do, you know you want to get into human resource management, um, and you definitely have done your research, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into, this might be a good degree. And you know, when you look at the statistics, it's okay, but it's, it's just a really risky one, guys. So, so just be careful with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be health management or health administration. And this is one where you might see it advertised like on the side of a bus, or on a sidewalk or on a bench or something along those lines. There's kind of a lot of sketchy schools. A lot of the time they're kind of the uh, uh, for-profit like online schools that advertise this type of degree. So when you look at the numbers, it's not amazing. However, I will say I did a lot of research on this one and I will say that if you get a human resource management degree from a good uh, reputable university, this one can pay off. A lot of the time people are already healthcare professionals so they might be a nurse or a pharmacist or a doctor or something like that. And then they also get a uh, degree in health administration and that might help them to
to move up in the hospital and become like an executive uh, in the hospital system. So overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier with the caveat of you do need to make sure that you go to the right school. Oh, and I kind of forgot to mention, uh, same thing kind of goes with a finance degree. With a lot of these degrees up there, uh, it really doesn't matter all that much which school you go to. But with a finance degree, if you're aiming for one of those really high up jobs, one of those uh, really difficult jobs uh, to get into on Wall Street, for instance, um, the school you go to actually does matter. That's just a little side note. I just wanted to add that in there because I forgot to mention that. And then the next one on the list is going to be random management degrees. Uh, this is something I see schools doing a lot in a lot of different subjects where they'll just take this super random thing and then they'll just tack the word management onto it. So for instance, office management, parks and recreation management. And when you look at the statistics on these, they are absolutely horrible. People are not getting a good return on investment for these types of degrees. So be careful when they tack the word management onto like random stuff like that, uh, because these are usually not going to be worth it. And this one is going to go into F tier. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. And go ahead, if you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for? Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video, especially if you're somebody who's gotten some of these degrees. Love to hear your perspective. Uh, you know, say if uh, you think I'm right on these or if you think I'm wrong. And I will see you guys in the next one.